The government of India has planned to establish a carbon credit and trading scheme, also known as a domestic emission trading scheme or an ETS to meet its net zero emissions target in 2070. But what is an ETS and why is it important? Let's break it down. Imagine that the Indian economy consists of two sectors, power and cement, and the water in these two glasses represents its actual or current emissions. As part of an ETS, the government decides to reduce the emissions in these two sectors, and each of these sectors gets a specific target. We will represent the targets given to these two sectors using a black marker. Any sector in an ETS can follow two ways to reduce its emissions. It can either invest in clean technologies and reduce emissions in-house, or it can buy allowances or the right to omit from the market. In our example, the power sector has a lot of cheap abatement options and therefore is able to reduce emissions way beyond its prescribed target. The cement sector, on the other hand, has a few emission abatement options, but these are currently too expensive. It therefore decides to buy emission allowances or the right to omit from the market, thereby meeting its target given by the government. The third class represents the total reductions that have taken place in an economy, in this case from the two sectors. In the case that one of the two sectors wouldn't have met their targets, they would have paid a penalty to the government. The purpose of an ETS is to provide a financial incentive to the companies or sectors to invest in clean energy technologies and reduce their emissions. The caps or targets given to the industries will get stringent over time in the path to reach net zero. It is important to know that this demonstration explains only the general concept of an ETS and is not representative of India's ETS. The success of an ETS, especially in the initial years in India, depends on how well it is integrated in local market and policy context as well as the trust among the sectors in the monitoring and verification process.